Pythagorean theorem. So the steps for calculating the missing side length in any right triangle. The formula is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Substitute the numbers into the formula. Solve for the missing side. Do the square root to undo a squared number. And check to make sure that, that it's logical. The hypotenuse must be the longest side. So here's our first one. We're looking for the hypotenuse here. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we're looking for c. So we use 9 squared plus 12 squared equals c squared. So 81 plus 144 equals c squared. So that would be 225 equals c squared. And again, take the square root to undo a square number. And the square root of 225 is 15. And that should be our longest side, which is true. Let's look at the next one where we're looking for a leg. Okay, so we have a squared, we don't have b squared, and we have c squared. So 8 squared is 64, plus b squared, and 24 squared is 576. So now we need to solve this like an equation. So I need to subtract 64 from both sides because I want to get b all by itself. So 576 minus 64 is 512, and that equals b squared. So again, take the square root of that. It's not a perfect square, so it's going to give us an answer of 22.6 when I calculate that and round it to the nearest tenth. So again, don't forget your formula is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and you always just substitute the numbers in and solve for what you're missing.